Hey y'all, Marie with Nord Outdoors here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make sun catchers. One of my absolute favorite art projects that you should be able to do with common household items and a walk in your neighborhood. So now I have everything laid out in front of me that you're going to need to make your sun catcher. First, I have paper plates. These you wanna make sure are uncoated and white so that you can color or watercolor on it. Next, I have super clear scotch tape. This is packing tape, so it's really, really good for letting the light shine through. You could also use sticky contact paper or wax paper for that. The next thing is twine. I already had this at my house, but you could use something like shoestring or fishing line, or if you have string at home, you can use that. And next I have two different things to use to cut. I've got an X-Acto knife, so if you know how to use one of these safely, do it. Otherwise, your scissors will work just fine. I'm out here about to head on our walk to go collect our materials for our project, and I wanted to remind you of a few things first. Number one, bring your personal protective equipment if you think you might need it. Second, there are some plants that people plant in their yard on purpose, and there are some plants like these that are growing naturally in the cracks on the sidewalk. These are the kind of plants that you wanna collect, not these. Thirdly, you wanna bring some kind of bag or envelope that you can collect your leaves and flowers in. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. This jasmine would be perfect for my sun catcher. And I know it doesn't belong to anybody because it's on a street side. Oh, these dandelions are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and collect a few, but not all of them. Also, I'm gonna make sure I get some of these really cool long leaves. I think those would look really good on my sun catcher. Oh, check these out. Y'all wanna make sure you get flowers of all different sizes and colors, even the small stuff in the sidewalk can be really beautiful on a sun catcher. Oh, awesome. So this is Biden's Pelosa. This is one of my favorite wildflowers and you can find it all over the city. All right, here I've got two of my favorite plants. The first one is a fern. These are great for sun catchers because of their long leaves with the cool patterns. The other one that I really like right here is oxalis. This is wood sorrel. It's actually an edible plant. These delicate little purple flowers are perfect for the sun to shine through. And they also have these very cool leaves that when you take them apart are shaped like a heart. All right, now that we've got all of our material, let's go make a sun catcher. We're gonna use a pencil and we'll draw a circle on our plate with it upside down. If you want, you can put something here to trace or you can freehand it like I am. All right, next, you're either gonna take your scissors or your X-Acto knife to cut. If you're using scissors, the easiest thing to do is to fold your plate and cut where your circle is gonna start then trace it. For me. So the next thing that you want to do is take any colors, markers, watercolors that you have at home and you can decorate this. I'm going to go ahead and pick some colors that I know I'm already using like this blue because I have a blue flower. So what I'm doing right now is just making a little outline for myself. You can do that in pencil or you can just go ahead and start coloring however you want. Thank you. 
the next step after you have everything colored in how you want it is to go ahead and take your tape or wax paper or contact paper and you're going to cover this bottom circle. So I'm going to take a strip about as long as my hole and I'm going to put it right there in the middle and I'm going to squeeze on the sides. Now I don't want this to attach to the table. I'm gonna turn my plate upside down. Now this is where all of the stuff we collected this uh, earlier is gonna come into play. Now with the flowers, they are so delicate you might want some of them to just pluck the petals off and use the petals, or you might want to use the whole flower. So I've started my sun catcher by laying some flowers down. And I've noticed that some of these flowers have these big pieces here. You wanna avoid using that. If needed, just pull the petals off of your flower and you should be able to lay it down flat. So now I have all my flowers laid out. And if you look at it this way, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna keep it laid flat. Then I'm gonna do another layer of tape with the sticky side facing down onto the flowers to seal them in. Now I say seal them in, but these flowers will decay. The color is not gonna stay there forever and that's okay. It's kind of like a little science experiment. You get to watch how they fade over time. And if you want to make a fresh sun catcher, then you can. All right, next step, give it a little squeeze with your hand, maybe place it down flat and push down like this. There you go. The last thing is to poke your hole on the top where you want it to be. And then take your string and tie it. Thank you guys so much for making these sun catchers with me. Remember, your whole entire family can do this. Hang them up in your house and please send us pictures of what y'all make. Have fun and stay safe.